The death of his stepson gave a Colorado father a brand new perspective on our national anthem. It's always important, but it's more important to me now. But when his beloved Broncos chose to take a knee, he chose to fight back. I just kind of lost him. Tonight, this Gold Star father explains why the actions of a few football players hurt so much. You guys have made your point. Let's move on. That Gold Star family is not alone. We've heard from many of you who are fed up with the anthem protests. Tonight, Denver 7's Liz Gillardi shows us why this is so personal and the symbolic stance one family is taking. The story of a brave soldier from Parker told in pictures, a small display left behind at Mile High Stadium. There are many perspectives on this issue. The flag in and of itself means many things to many people. But when Glenn Biney looks at the stars and stripes, he sees one thing. This flag right here, which is the flag that was draped over David's casket, and we have this now. And a flag proudly waves over this dog park, named after his stepson, Corporal David M. Sonka. It was his lifelong dream to enlist. He served two tours, only to be killed in Afghanistan in 2013, shot during a combat operation along with his canine flex. If you haven't lived through it, it, it doesn't quite hit you. Ever since his stepson's death, Biney makes it a point to never miss the national anthem. The tipping point for him came earlier this football season. When 32 players took a knee before facing off against the Buffalo Bills. I just kind of went. He went to the home game next week and like always, he stood for the anthem. Then we left. He only stayed long enough to hear the end of the Star Spangled Banner, but left behind a poster telling Corporal Sonka's story, along with a small folded flag. Was this in a way your own protest? Yeah, I would say that. I'm protesting your protest. A powerful symbol of sacrifice, of what the anthem protests mean to one local family. Do you think those football players understand what families like yours are going through and the reaction that you have when you see that? No, I don't. I don't think they understand it at all. He wants everyone to know what he feels, the emotional toll when he sees a player kneel. And my feeling is they're disrespecting David and everybody else that has defended it. Though I think that David and every, all these other, all the veterans would agree that this is one of the reasons they signed up was to defend America and people's right to do exactly what the football players are doing. And the family we profiled tonight has continued to walk out after the anthem at every home game, even though the Broncos are now standing for the anthem. They're hoping the team and the NFL will see the story. And the Broncos have said in the past their actions were in no way a protest of the military. You know, we've certainly been getting a lot of comments about this one. Lots of discussion. Also. Lots of discussion. Have. Thank you, Liz. And we found one Facebook page showing some 16,000 people say they're planning to boycott the NFL specifically on Veterans Day. Another group is boycotting the NFL over the anthem protest. And the NFL is not forcing players to stand for the anthem, although at least one owner, the Cowboys owner, Jerry Jones, says he won't let anyone play for his team if they take a knee. And Americans seem to be evenly split on the issue. A new HBO poll released today found 51% of people don't want the NFL to force players to stand. 47% of people say the league should force people to stand. 